Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So earlier this week, Cardi B shared a picture of herself posing in front of graffiti that said pedo, yeah, the P word. Cardi B responded to a fan who questioned why the word pedo is painted on a wall in her maternity shoe. Cardi B insisted the photographer picked a random street for her maternity shoot. Cardi B wrote, first of all, we literally picked a random street because paparazzi was haunting us everywhere. This was supposed to be my original first picture and we had to edit the photos and minutes because the shoot got leaked. Didn't even have time to go over every detail because people were busy trying to expose my pregnancy as aha moment. Second, I'm always with the ish, but I'm not using my maternity shoot to be funny. Are you dumb? No, Cardi, are you dumb? It seems strange that the photographer then go over every detail of the photo shoot since that's what they are paid to do. Photographers literally do go over every detail of a photo shoot before the first photo is taken. Some fans claim Cardi B knew the word was on the wall. They said the word was aimed at Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenny Petty, a registered SEX offender. Cardi B is a liar. She didn't know, she claims, but she knew enough to match her blue coat to the blue writing, but was so clueless about what the writing said. Really? She said this picture, this photo shoot right here of her on the bike was supposed to be her original pregnancy announcement picture but paparazzi was following her around tmz tmz did leak pictures of her on her way to the photo shoot this happened this photo shoot happened august 1st august 1st okay and then hours later she announced her pregnancy with a different set of pictures she was in red Okay, so these picture, this picture, this photo shoot right here with her on the bike happened August 1st. So she did not use these pictures. Instead, she used another picture to announce her pregnancy. So a whole month later, she is now posting this photo shoot picture that she took August 1st. So she had a whole month to re-edit these pictures. She sat on these pictures for a whole month without posting them. She had enough time to re-edit these pictures. Listen, Cardi B knew what the writing on the wall stated. She knew. She knew, her people knew, her photographer knew, because when you edit, you zoom in. Not only that, the photographer was there before everyone. So the, the photographer was really close to the wall. They examined every little thing, every little details. And then when you're editing, when you're editing, you're zooming in because she has to Photoshop. She, she, come on, she's a Photoshop queen, okay? And you don't even need professionals to do that. There are apps on your phone that could blur the background, that could remove the background, that could write something else over the background. So many things she could have done. They airbrush their pictures to make it flawless. Everything is per perfect. Okay, they are very calculated. They know when to post. They, they they schedule when to post, when to do this, when to do that. And again, the jacket color match the freaking graffiti. And because she did not use this picture to announce her pregnancy, that gave her more time. That gave her a whole month to re-edit. And I know she was looking at these pictures over and over because again they are calculated this they pick time and when to announce this to post this to put you know so they she knew she knew she saw it you cannot miss it look at it it's white it's in white the word is in white it's big and then when you're editing you zoom in you zoom all the way in to see every little thing okay and cardi b is an airbrush queen so I'm sure when they show her these pictures, she had to approve which one, yes, 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 no, you know? 
and I'm sure she zoomed in on her face to make sure she don't look crazy with all these surgeries. She's a Photoshop queen, so she knew. So this whole, I didn't know, I didn't know is BS. It's BS. So is Cardi B trying to tell us something? Are you trying to tell us something about Offset? Because there's no way. There's no way a pregnant woman would pose in front of the word pedo for her maternity shoot. Or maybe she's trying to tell us something about herself. Because that's the only thing that makes sense. That is the only thing that makes sense. Why you would, oh, maybe it's a ritual. Maybe it's a ritual she's doing. They have her doing a humiliation ritual. Because this is sick. It's distasteful. It's sick. And this cannot be a shot at Nicki Minaj's husband because Nicki Minaj's husband is an all word, not a pedo. He was 16 and the victim was 16. So how is he a pedo if they were both the same age? He was 16, the victim was 16. He's an all word, not a pedo. Now, Nicki's brother is a pedo. And he's locked up right now. But Nikki's husband is not a pedo, okay? He was 16, the victim was 16. That makes him a R word. Yes, he has to register on the SEX offenders list. Yeah, and pedos, you know, they, they have to register as well on the SEX offender list. But again, Kenneth Petty is not a pedo. He's an R word. So for Cardi B to, and why would you even want that type of energy during your maternity shoot? Why would you even want that, that energy? That's a dark, demonic energy to have that word on the background. So it's like she's saying she is, right? Because you pregnant with a baby in your belly with the background, with the word on the background saying pedo. So it's like you making a statement. You're saying that you are. That's what it looks like. So it, it, why would you even, like, it's a sick, dark energy. It's a sick, dark energy. There's no excuse for that. So you're either telling us that you are, or you're telling us that some, your husband is, or something, because... If it's a Nicki Minaj, it, it doesn't make sense because her husband is an all word, not a pedo. So, yeah. And then she's rocking Balenciaga boots and a photo shoot. Now, if you don't know about Balenciaga, I suggest that you Google because they are sick. That brand is sick. Okay? Sickles. So she's posing in front of a word, pedo, and yet she's rocking Balenciaga. Come on. This is some sick-ish. If that's not a humiliation ritual, then I don't know. I don't know. Because these people are sick. They're into symbols. They talk in codes. They use symbols and codes to talk to each other. They're sick. A lot of them, they're all sick. The whole industry, from the entertainment industry, to the music industry, the sports industry, they're all sick. They are puppets and muppets, okay? They're talking codes to each other, okay? If you know, you know. If you don't know, then you're going to stay in the dark. That's how they rock. That's how they talk to each other in codes. When you see them on magazine covers, it's a code. That's how they talk to each other. That's how they, you know you know, send messages to each other, all through symbols, codes, and everything. These people are sick, all right? They are puppets and muppets, okay? A bunch of puppets, a bunch of muppets. Muppets, yes. They are sick. And they all still support Balenciaga. Again, please Google Balenciaga and read about that nasty brand, okay? And those who support them, like Cardi B and DDG, Halle Bailey, Kim Kardashian, all of them. All of them. These people are nasty, horrible people. And they don't deserve the respect, the attention, and money that they receive. They don't. They have to do things for this money. They sold their soul for that money. 
Okay, that's that's blood money. Okay, that's blood money. They have to deal with the consequences. Remember when Cardi B first started in the beginning, she was talking about Illuminati this, Illuminati that, talking about the Illuminati and all these crazy stuff, right? And now look, she's deep in it. She is deep into it. Okay? And also the video when she was speaking, right? She was crying, saying she didn't want to do this anymore. She didn't want to do this kind of music anymore because this music, you know, opened up, you know, spirits, you know, these demonic spirits, portals. Yeah. And she said she don't even let her daughter listen to her music. Okay? She quickly stopped the music when her daughter walked in the room. Okay? But she don't mind. She don't mind you guys listening to it. She don't mind your kids you know, listening to it, buying it, but her kid, oh yeah, she will protect them from her own demonic stuff. But it's okay for your kids. But Cardi B said, no, 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 no. She know her things are demonic. She know what she's doing, what she's thinking about is demonic. But that's on you guys. That is on you guys. You guys have a choice not to support that kind of trashy stuff. Okay? So, yeah. Cardi B's a liar. This whole post about, I didn't know, she knew. But who is she talking to? Because it can't be about Nicki Minaj's husband because, you know. Yeah, but this photo shoot, she shouldn't have posted it. At least edit it, remove it, blur it, do something. So, yeah, it's distasteful. The shoot was distasteful. It was disgusting. And Cardi B is trashy. She's trashy, period. Okay, you guys? If you haven't subscribed already, I would deeply appreciate if you did. All right? Don't forget to like on your way out. Subscribe. Leave a comment. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.